pump until the black swan hits. Hello everyone, hope you guys are having amazing day. XRP is around 62 cents. There we go, right? So slowly moving upwards, guys. Solana is just going ballistic as we can see. Wow. Bitcoin moving up as well. Now, this is this is my belief, guys. I believe cryptocurrencies are going to pump until we see a black swan arrive. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the economy, uh, interest rates, and perhaps the warning signs, guys. And I, and I still am in my XRP long. I actually added more, guys, throughout the past few days, right? And when I see things are not, not looking too stellar, I'm going to cash out of my XRP trade. Now, now guys, we're from part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called quite interesting. And this is the biggest warning sign of, of them all, guys. Okay, pay very close attention. From John. Uh, from David Schwartz, the kid doesn't look a day over 70 and he's replying to this image or this tw uh, tweet Okay, pay very close attention. You could have done it to any other but he, sh but he chose this He usually doesn't I don't know if he replies to other people's tweets guys, right? I think he does but remember he chose this John D Rockefeller Again, Rockefeller family, you guys already know, gifting a five cent coin to a child on his 84th birthday, right, 1929. You know why that's so fascinating? Obviously, he, he's making a joke um, from this statement, right? But this is what's fascinating, guys, is that he stated it. this took place which year? In the year of 1929. And what happened during that year, guys? Right, what happened during that year? Same year, 1929 stock market crash big time. The collapse, right? The Great Depression. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, warning signs. And and please like today's video, guys. This is where we need to share to spread news, okay? So we need to become aware, guys, because Justin, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, sold, just sold another chunk of Facebook shares. He has now sold over $320 million of Facebook shares in the last few days, guys. You can't make this stuff up. Mark, the CEO of Facebook or um, Meta, guys, is literally on a selling spree, like no tomorrow, as we can see right here, right? Sell, 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 sell. He's profiting hundreds of millions of dollars. But why, right? He's selling at lightning speed, guys. What does he know that we don't, we, the normal people don't know, right? The average Dorito Joe. The average Joe, guys, what what do what don't we know? He he sold another um 122,000 shares, guys, which is worth 42 million dollars, right? And at the same time, not to mention, he's literally building a massive underground bunker. So so he's number one selling stocks, his own shares of his own company. When you're bullish on your own company, why would you sell in the first place? Come on. Two, building a massive underground bunker. If this isn't warn us of something, uh, tell us something is incoming, guys, and I don't know what will, because Donald Trump just confirmed to us, guys. You think we're making this stuff up? No, but we got the sources from Ron right here. Trump says, even though the stock market is, in at, is at an all-time high any day now, you're going to have a crash like the likes of which you have never which you have never seen with that with what they are doing, guys. It's going to be quite scary, end quote. What did David Schwartz say right here? Right, reply to this image talking about 1929, the Great Depression occurred. Donald Trump comes into play with. While the stock market is making rich people richer, ben, and, and I mean, it's crazy what's going on. Rich people are getting richer. Of course, I'm a politician now, so we just keep chugging along, right? But it's making, but you're going to have a crash, the likes of which you haven't seen because of what they're doing. It's going to be scary. Biden's inflation could. Uh oh. Donald Trump is obviously in a no, guys, right? It's, it's the easiest thing in my life. It's so simple. So my game plan is to hold until they cut rates, which we're about to talk about in just a second, guys. Um, maybe maybe one to, one, one to two rate cuts in, then I'm going to sell. Okay? Not financial advice, though. Not to mention, he even sa uh, says tip, uh, tippy top, right? Tippy top. And what happens during... Well, what's a tippy top maneuver, guys? Right? It's this right here. Look. It's like that, right? top is, is, is the tippy top guys which means I don't know what, what what he was pertaining towards because I didn't watch the video but usually it's like a blow off top interesting isn't that now the reason why Do Joe Biden is coming after I mean Donald Trump is coming after Joe Biden is because of this he Joe Biden tweeted this first, okay? If Biden wins, you're going to have a stock market collapse, the likes of which you've never had. Another record day on Wall Street. The stock market higher than it's ever been. The stock market, it's hitting new records. Beating the record it set just yesterday. Uh, let's just talk for a moment about the stock market. Okay. Boom. Well, the market is defined. All the experts. 
Well, we said we we were the first one. Who? Please comment. Oh my god! Comment down below. Who's the who's the what? Who's the one person, guys? Back in 2022, that stated we're going to pump, create new all-time highs, right? I even included the stock market. Now, hopefully, next is cryptocurrencies. Please, so I could get out. From uh, remember. Whatever I sell, I'm always going to hold 33% of my XRP. So from X, uh, Thero X33. Now, since when do they actually tell you what's going to happen before it happens, right? They say over here, economist claims 2024 will bring biggest crash of our lifetime in the United States. Mm. Right? It's a 50-50 at this point. Fear mongering works in their favor. Regardless, we are in the crypto market, right? What happens to the crypto market when the dollar crashes? I believe we are in the right place at the right time. Regardless of what happens, the money has to go somewhere, right? I'm not worried one bit. Sit tight and cut out all the noise. Listen to no one. Think for yourself. I wish you the best, guys. So exactly, but I think this is the game plan, guys. I think we cracked the code. Please like today's video. Please, 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 right? Spread the news. Become aware. Spread the awareness, guys. So. Fundamentally speaking, for the S&P 500 to, to justify the current levels, we need to see both confirmation of a soft landing, which has not happened yet, inflation back to near 2%, which has also not happened yet, guys, right? This is all based on euphoria and um, it's, it's price um, pricing future events, okay, guys, which is the rate cuts. Now, this is a good thing, though, right? We're probably just going to keep pumping before um, until the rate cuts take place, guys. Then that's when maybe they're going to tie in some type of black swan event, okay? And we, we want to be very careful at this point, guys. And when that black swan event does take place, we're going to go back to 2%, if not lower, right? And it's going to be a hard landing. So pay very close attention. The, the million dollar deal is this right here. So right now, 2023 is following the 1970s um, compared with talking about inflation, okay? We're comparing CPI today back to the 1970s, which is inflation. Now, the green line is now this dark blue line purple line purplish line is back in the 1970s guys look what happened right it, it, it created a bearish divergence guys do you guys not see right a higher high and then the economy was going to s which means the price had to okay i'm going to explain something right here you guys see this bearish divergence right inflation was going higher guys okay but the economy was doing s it was going to s which means it was building some type of that, guys, a bearish divergence, okay? Which means inflation or the CPI would hit reality at some point. It will, it will have to go back down, basically, okay? So that's what th that's about, guys. Now, they're asking, are we going to follow history? Are we going to repeat history again, right? Which means if this were the case, the collapse happens in the year 2028, okay? Now, if this were to happen, guys, I like I said, I don't know when the collapse happens, but this is my game plan. All I'm going to see is all I'm going to do is what the Fed. All I'm going to do is pay attention to the Fed, okay, guys. So if 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 inflation does go back up, I'm going to be in the markets, right? Just because that means they're printing so much money, guys, because there's a black swan that happens here soon, as you guys can see in the year 2024, right? Inflation goes back down to two percent, or or they meet their target, guys, and then it pumps back up. How do they even reach that last percentage? Because of a black swan needs to occur, right? It doesn't just go down like that, guys. It's very, it's quite hard. Now, if, if a black swan does occur and the markets plummet and, and it starts to collapse, or the feds will probably come in and save the day. If they don't, then the markets will literally collapse, guys. So all we need to do is pay attention to the fed at this point in time. Here's what's going to happen. Rate cuts are coming to 24 because the fed wants rates lower to refinance the debt. Exactly. They're also going to pump the markets liquidity into the markets, guys, right? Stocks and cryptos will rise like crazy, have a plan. But before stocks and cryptos rise, right, well, we see another plummet in price. So what I think is this, guys. So this this is my thinking. This is cryptocurrencies, right? Stocks are already making the all-time highs. Cryptos will probably pump, and then at some point over here, guys, a black swan occurs, and then we're going to back, dump back down, and then we're going to start moving back up, right? If 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 the Fed comes in and saves the day, if they if they don't, then the collapse will just happen. So it's quite simple in my eyes. Alert: job openings are collapsing, as we can see. Different metrics are already beginning to show warning signs, right? Look at that. It's like a parabolic move to the downside, guys, as we can see right here. Look at that, right? It gets parabolically, it just goes parabolic, guys, right? To the downside. So that's a warning sign. And each time it happened, a recession, a collapse occurred or a plummet in prices in the stock and crypto, the stock market. 
right? Or the cryptocurrency market back in 2020. Now, um, so there's a lot of information we're talking about, guys. Hopefully, you guys are understanding what we're, what we're saying, right? This is video is definitely not financial advice, but it seems like the warning signs are here. So I, it's always good to have a strategy in place, guys, right? Because if you don't, then emotions will take over. But if you do, then you can at least be a little bit more prepared. Now, warning, 2024 recession probably at, is at levels only seen twice, two times since 1960s. Both instances did not end well from Game of Trades. The probability of recession 2024 is elevated, guys, right? We went back to these higher levels, threshold over 60, which meant which um, some type of doom, right? Some type of doom and gloom is on the horizon. Now, maybe we just got confirmed of the timeline. You can't make it. Who said it first, guys? Oh, my. Justin, SEC delays decision on Ethereum ETFs to May 2024. Why? Why is that so fascinating, guys? I just said we just got confirmed by the SEC. Remember, the SEC is, could be the good or bad guys here, right? They're neutral at the end of the day, in my eyes. Um, but... I said, hopefully they delayed Bitcoin's the Bitcoin ETF to April or May or right around the Black Swan event, right? And I'm thinking April is that Black Swan event month, guys. And they're delaying to, um, they're delaying the Ethereum ETFs to May, hmm, right? Just around the same time as possibly some type of event. I told you guys. So fascinating, huh? Not financial advice. Maybe we truly got confirmed. Now. There's so much more news to talk about, guys. We're not going to get to the, um, what will the Black Swan event be, right? That, that doesn't matter too much as of knowing what if, if, if Black Swan will occur, guys. It's more important to know if a Black Swan will occur, right? Um, and then what it will be. But it's good to know what it will be so you can prepare just in case as well. We're not going to be talking about that side of the, por uh, that portion of the video, guys, today. Because it's going to be a very long video, but we're, we'll save it for another day. Now, be very careful of shorting as well, guys, right? Because people are losing uh, so much money in the billions, guys. So be very careful. Okay, so back to the Riddlers. I've never seen this pool post before from the day out of time, 2020. Very appropriate for tomorrow, guys, right? For today, nothing can stop what's coming from dark to light. Then we see the darkest day of the year will be the brightest day of this year, right? Today is supposedly the darkest day. As we can see, today is, what, 1221 which equals 3 and 3, a 33 date, uh-huh, as well as 1, 2, and 3, guys, and as well as 11, 22, when Mr. Poole did po point towards, quote-unquote, flipping that switch, right? I don't know if anything will happen today, but I'm guessing they're, they're um, more, they're paying attention towards external events, right, more than XRP's price. Now, the penalty for today's comes from Baba Cucks. In, 20, in 2014, I was 24 years old with $250,000, right? He could have spent it, guys, right? Waste it all, um, life experiences and everything. But instead, he chose to invest, right? And now, at this point, he has, what, over $1.5, I'm guessing a million dollars, which means now he could um, go on experiences, right? And as well, keep building, Keep making that money grow, guys, right? And, and, and would you rather live lavishly now or wait even maybe a few years, guys? Then you could live as much as you want, right? Possibly even retire later. Basically, um, delayed gratification. So that's what I have been doing for my whole life, guys. But not financial advice. Everyone has their own strategy, right? Everyone has a different um, plan towards life. Everyone has their own goals and whatnot. At the end, you you have to thank guys. It's all about you. You think you make your own decision and choice, not financial advice. What is that so face amazingness? See ya.